If you want to be able to see nulls and all drawable objects, jump into here and click on show drawables always. So what I've done is I've animated this null lying around and I'm going to use that to drive my animation. And the way I'm going to do that is by using a behavior mixer. And with this behavior mixer, it'll allow us to add keyframes, behaviors as well, such as the oscillator and noise. So we're just going to jump in and hit a behavior mixer. And straight away, the inputs are an actual behavior as well. So it can't just be the X and the Y, which um, our mass animation is spitting out. To sort that out, we're going to need a value node. And since it's X and Y, we need the value two. So what we can do here is grab our position and pop that into our value two. I'm just going to drag this down here just so it's a little easier to see what's going on as well. Master value. We can put this master value straight into here. Cool. So this is our active connection. And this is, we've only got one input so far. But we can just test this out straight away by dragging our behavior mixer into our duplicator and into our shape position. And everything follows our, um, and everything kind of follows our little null around. So now we've just added a new behavior. Right click. And we're just going to go noise. And actually, in our behavior mixer, it's pretty handy to be able to just turn these off. That way you can just see how the, how the noise is affecting it. So you can see the noise here is kind of subtly making these move around. So yeah, so you can see the wriggle around is a bit more uh, obvious there. So don't go too crazy with it. So I just thought we'll just do like a, a subtle kind of frenetic effect. If we add an oscillator to this, you're just going to see our shapes go on an, on an angle. So what I was thinking it could be cool is just if it just went onto the one channel. So we'll remove this here and add a value two. And we'll just get the oscillator and pop it into the Y. And now we just have that up and down motion. Change the time scale. And yeah, just have a bit of a play around with those settings. That was just a brief intro to the behavior mixer. I hope it helped out and you'll need a few things. Thanks for watching. With your shape selected, click the duplicator button up here. In grid, just change it down to point change this to a number and then we're just going to right click onto our shape scale to add the stagger and as you can see it's you put your cursor over top of it and you can see it's all stacked on top of each other so we just have to flip this around by jumping into a stagger and flipping the graph i've just put an oscillator into the shape position to show you how the shape time offset works as well it's the same thing put a stagger on there and then we can see see the motion